Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first seven commandments, and now it's time for the eighth. Thou, Thou shalt, shalt not, not bear, bear false, false witness, witness against, against thy, thy neighbor. neighbor. Exodus 20, 16. I've often been stunned by the brilliance of the way in which this commandment is phrased. I think the best way to understand it is to look more closely at the various parts of the commandment. To start with, the word false. False, as we've discussed way back in the first season, is the opposite of true. Not every statement that's false is a lie, though, and I think that's why the word witness is put right after it. If you witness something and your testimony of that thing is still false, it can only be because you're just flat out lying about what you witnessed, or else lying about remembering what you witnessed, in case memory loss is responsible for the false testimony. This commandment clearly indicates that we have an obligation to tell the truth, and thus to not lie. However, the command can be clarified even further than that. Bearing witness implies that you're taking your testimony to someone, which means that you're not just lying, but lying to someone else. Lastly, there's against your neighbor. When the lie you tell works against your neighbor in some way, it falls under this commandment. Examples of this are, for example, lying about having paid your bills. You get the bill collector in trouble for not doing his job, and someone will certainly suffer loss as a result of the lie. Lying about the guilt of another person can also cause harm to your neighbor, either by bringing down unjust punishments on an innocent person, or by robbing a guilty person of the consequences of his actions, and thus an opportunity to pay the price for his crimes, and perhaps learn something about responsibility in the process. Even using the truth against your neighbor, but doing it in a dishonest or unjust way, can fall under this commandment, but that's for another episode. To sum up, the Eighth Commandment has to do with avoiding lies or dishonesty, which is conveyed to others in such a way that someone else is hurt by it. Next time, can our actions be a form of false witness too? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.